This is a video about the loading failed on the Initab 2 that a lot of users are having with converted movies. The reason we're having the problems is because Initab decided to take away XVID support. Well, here's, a, uh, here's an example of a video that I have that uh, does not play correctly. It gives that dumb loading uh, failed error, just like this. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to convert that movie, uh, how to convert your movie files so that they will work with the Initab 2. The Initab 2 takes a little bit different specifications than the Initab 1 because the Initab 1, for whatever reason, still supports XVID. But here's the same video converted over to the new format that I'm gonna show you how to do in this video. And watch it not play. Oh good, it does. So this is the same movie, it's just been changed, the format's been changed so that it, that is, is now supported by the Initab 2. It uses H.264, uh, which is a supporting codec. And I'll get sh uh, started and show you how to convert this. The first thing you're gonna need to do is to um, open up your Initab, well, actually just turn it off. See you again soon. And you need to open this cover, take out this first battery here by your SD card. We have to get this card out now. You, if you have your uh, if you have your USB cable, you can plug it in as well and plug it into the computer. But because this because this laptop has an SD card reader, I'm going to pull it out and I'm going to put it into my uh, card reader. And we got to copy the movie off. Open the folder. All in. Here's movie files, and uh, here's the here's the Rise of the Turtles. The, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and I've already copied it over here to my, uh, from here over to my desktop, so that I don't have to wait for it to go. All right, so this is this is the movie file, and the program we're going to use to do this is called um, Media Coder. And if you watched uh, the other video I have out here about um, converting movies to, or yeah, YouTube to Initab uh, two, you'll be somewhat familiar with this program already. Give me a second as it loads. Why is this up? Oh well, whatever. Get that back open. So here's the uh, media coder that I have. I have version 0.817.5300. I think there's a newer one out, but it should all be about the same. First thing you want to do is push this is, I'll try to zoom in over here a little bit so you can see a little better. Uh, you got to push this add button to uh, find your video. We're going to add file. And I'm going to select it off my desktop in the in tab folder, in tab two, here it is. So I click on this, and then you uh, push open. All right, so that adds it up here to the list, right here. So it just came into the list. Okay, so a few things we wanna change on here to make it supported for the end of tab two. You wanna come down to the uh, video tab down here, and we wanna put, you wanna make sure you put in uh, go ahead and check the enabled button right here. Then you want to check the uh, change the video, video bit rate to 600 and the um, RAID mode to average bit rate and the format to H.264 just like that. Then on the right hand side over here you want to make sure you're on the H.264 tab. You want to change this to baseline and I think that's the only thing you have to change. Just make sure this says baseline. There's, there's multiple profiles for this X264. There's baseline and main. A lot of the other programs use main, and you, I don't know how to change them to baseline. But this one lets you change it to baseline. So anyway, back over here. You need the, uh, go to the audio tab. There it is. And we want, we'll make sure it says enabled again, and make sure it says MP3. And um, then over on the right hand side, we want to go on the lame MP3 tab and want to change this bit rate to 112. If you, if you, like I said, if you've watched the other tab video, this is all pretty much the same. 
Uh, then, let's see. Oh, we can also, the other thing you can do is back over here on the left. If your videos are really have been quiet, here's a chance for you to click the sound and you can change this gain up to about 15. I, I don't go much higher than 15 because it gets too uh, loud and it starts sounding bad. Now, if you notice that some of your videos are getting, the audio is off, you can change the delay on your audio. Either you can change it so that it, it, it um, is a little bit further ahead by adding, by changing this to one second or, or uh, not, this is a millisecond, so it's like a thousand milliseconds is one second. So if you change this to 500 milliseconds, it'll push the audio ahead half a second. If you put it to negative 500, it'll pull the audio back half a second. Now hopefully you shouldn't have to change this, but if you do, that's where it is, the audio delay. And it can be positive or, or negative numbers. But I do recommend you change the gain to 15. So once you get those going, or once you get all those, pro, all those settings set, the uh, only other thing to do, I think, is just to hit the, we gotta set the output. I right click on this and I say set output file, and I'll just call it mod TMN. Forget it. I'll just click on this and just put mod at the beginning. Now you can change these before you put it back on your inner tab. But I'll just put mod in the name so that uh, to know that it's been modified. And then I go ahead and push uh, save. Then the uh, file starts to um, be converted by your computer and it should take. Oh, um, did I click start? No, start. There it goes. Right? Yes. Transcoding? Yes. Yes. All right. And if you bring this down a little bit, you can see over on the right hand side, it gives you a bunch of statistics over here. Now, what do all these mean? I don't know. But the important ones are down here at the bottom where it tells you how fast it's converting the files, how many frames per second. Um, and it just tells you, tells you a little bit of information. This stuff down here at the bottom actually makes sense. None of the other stuff seems to make any sense to me. But. <laughs> If you know about all this stuff, it sure does make it sure does give you a lot of information. But anyway, so once you get that going, you can go ahead and we'll copy it back on. But in the meantime, you can also go through here and you can you can copy over all your files at one time and click the add button up here and add them all in one at a time. You might be able to select a whole bunch at one time, but put them all in here. Set the set all these pieces down here at the bottom like we talked about, and then hit the. Um, start button and it should go through and convert them one after the other so if you had 10 or 20 of them you can set them up to convert all night and then tomorrow morning when you wake up they should all be converted and uh, ready to go now i think these things take about uh my guess is about 40 40 minutes or so is just a guess but uh when this finishes i'll show you how to do the rest of it So once it finishes transcoding, you'll see this uh, message here, transcoding complete, and it will uh, mean that you are ready. So what we need to do, go ahead and push OK, minimize this, and now we have the one we just created. Uh, we got the one we just created here, and this is the original one. We'll go ahead and we'll, I already have this on there, so I'll go ahead and I'll put a, an X up here to show this one, X mod. So then we need to open up another explore window, go to, oh, well, anyway, you got to copy it back onto your, in the tab. And I was going to use the USB cable this time instead of using the uh, computer. So I go ahead and I plug this, plug this in, sorry, plug this in, got the USB cable in. And the SD card is back inside so I can show you if you want to use, show you how to use this if you want to use it. Alright, it's into the computer, or connected to computer mode. So it should show up. Come on. There it comes. There you go. Open the file to browse. Alright. Ah, learning Lodge. Go away. Alright, open this one. The iDrive. There's, there it is. All right. So we go into the movie directory. Here's the movie directory, and I'm going to copy over this, the uh, xmod uh, file here, over to the 
LLN movie directory. You can see here, mine, it shows up, I, when this, when I plug this in, I get three drives, and one of them is the, actually I don't even know what the all drives are, but this one, is, you want, the one you want is the one that has a learning lodge navigator, and, it, and uh, the drive is the size of your SD card. And then you go to LLN directory, and then into your movie directory. So, this is copying in here. Once this gets copied on here, I will show it to you. I'll put it back, put the SD card back into my Inatab 2, and then um, I'll show you how it plays. We'll see if it plays. <laughs> Hopefully it does. So it's almost done re copying. Okay, there, just finished. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug my Inatab 2. See you again soon. We'll turn it off. We'll turn it back on here in a second. All right, and hopefully when this comes back up, it will show the movie and play. Videos. Videos. There'll be two of them out here. One that starts with X mod, which is the one we just did, and then the other one. Let's see, here it is. X mod. And good, look at that, it plays. It's the one we just converted. So anyway, that's the, uh, that's the process on doing it. The main thing is just making sure that you get all the uh, settings correctly in the video, audio, sound uh, tabs, and the little sub tabs off to the right. But anyway, if you have any questions about it, leave me a uh, text, and not, or leave me a comment, and I'll try to answer it as best I can. That I am going to try to make another video that just shows how to copy it straight from a DVD straight to the Inatab 2 format. You can't just change the, well you can try it. I don't think you can change the settings in that program that I mentioned because it, it uses that baseline profile instead of the main, or uses the main instead of the baseline profile. And I don't know how to change that. Anyway, if you have any questions leave them in the comments and thanks for watching.